I can't even find my condiments. <laughs> would you lend me a hand? I think these people would appreciate having everything ready before their next anniversary. The mustard is directly beneath your left elbow. Oh, right. <laughs> this chapter will help you define that vision, strengthen that business muscle, and let you stand up and shout, hey, everybody, let's get rich. Hey, everybody, let's wrap these trays so we can deliver them. <laughs> Don't you think it's a little too soon to be counting our money? Why? We've had four jobs in this month alone. I've heard most businesses fail in the first year. Will you stop that? We're already getting recommendations, aren't we? Joyce has that lady from the East Side League coming over here today. Yeah, philanthropy. Now that's where the money is. <laughs> what is bugging you today? Maybe it's a hormonal imbalance. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that I'm going to be 39 on Friday. There are worse things than turning 39. Yeah, 40, 41, <laughs> two. Allie, you'll survive. I managed it. Yeah, but your outlook is a little more positive than mine. Try to be a little more downbeat. I'm just trying to cheer you up. I don't want to be cheered up. I want to commiserate. I want to feel good about feeling bad. Oh, well, pardon my sarong. What? Nothing. That's just one of my little amusing non sequiturs. Hello. I'm looking for Ms. McCardle and or Ms. Lowell. Oh, well, that's me. Well, us. This is Allie Lowell. I'm Kate McCardle. How do you do? How do you do? I'm Madeline Simpson, acting chairperson of the East Side League. I believe you were expecting me. Why, yes, we were. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to visit Greenwich Village again. I forget how charming the disarray of Bohemia can be. <laughs> Please excuse the mess. We're just finishing up a small but rather elegant party. We weren't really expecting you until four. Oh, I'm sorry, but my schedule is constantly changing. If it's not Jackie, it's Leonard. Who? Onassis Bernstein. What does it matter? I meet so many people. Excellent. Thank you. Our ball for the Malapupas was for 2,000. Did you know they are the last remaining tribe of the Orinoco Delta to use indigenous techniques in the weaving of cloth? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yet they teeter on the brink. Their village is slated as the site of the Amazon Marriott. Something must be done. What are your fees? For saving primitive tribes? For catering an affair. You have come highly recommended by Joyce Bernard. Lovely woman. She's done more for the Aleutian needlefish than anyone I know. <laughs> um, perhaps it would help us if you told us what kind of an affair you had in mind first. Mm, 15 or 20 guests, a private dining room, various diversions, apple bobbing, pinning tails on donkeys, musical chairs, perhaps? To uh, Jackie and Leonard enjoy that kind of thing? Perhaps. But this is a party for my youngest son. Ah! Andrew Hendry will be seven years old this Saturday. I wish to give him a surprise party. I realize this is short notice, but I am prepared to offer $750. Is that acceptable? $750 for a child's birthday? I'm afraid that's all I have to spend. Mrs. Simpson, as mothers ourselves, your story moves us. We accept. Splendid. <laughs> then we'll arrange the details later. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Malapupas are calling. <laughs> they believe the world was created when the god Santu Papal sneezed. Did you know that? Yes, actually, I did. Fascinating, isn't it? I've always thought that it was, yes. Oh, yes. And do make the party something special. Have you anything in mind? No. <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't like to get wrapped up in details. Why, of course not. That's what she's overpaying us for. Andrew Henry is one lucky kid. Yeah, he gets to turn seven. I have to turn 39. <laughs> At least you're not a Malapupa. Bet they don't use calendars. Do you have anything special in mind? We could hire a balloon sculptor. A guy that twists balloons? What's special about that? My mother hired a balloon sculptor for the only surprise party I ever had. He made me a little balloon bunny. Kept it on my bureau until it shriveled. <laughs> I looked forward to birthdays then. Allie, please don't get wistful. You know, since this is the last official birthday I'm going to celebrate, maybe we should 
celebrate it by doing something special. You got it. What have you got in mind? You could throw me a surprise party. <laughs> what? You know, hats, noisemakers, me in the middle looking stunned. <laughs> Ellie, how are you going to be in the middle looking stunned when you're the one that asked for it? No, no, I'm not asking for it. I'm just fantasizing. Will you please call us a cab? Not unless you throw me a surprise party. <laughs> Ellie, listen to me. I am not going to throw you a surprise party, and I'm not just saying that so you'll think that I'm not when I really am. There's going to be no surprise party of any kind at all whatsoever. Nada, zilch, zip. Understand? I see. Thank you, Kate. Don't say thank you. There's not going to be a surprise party. I know, I know. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bye. She thinks balloon animals are a little too quotidian. What? I don't know. It's probably one of those Amazonian gods. She wants something different, memorable, unique. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Guys, what is one thing you could get at a birthday that would make it memorable? Mm, my own car. A thousand dollar gift certificate to Fiorucci. <laughs> the power to move objects with my mind. I guess balloons don't cut it anymore. Well, I know what would make my birthday more memorable. What? Kate knows. I do? Yeah, you do. No, I'm afraid I don't. Yes, you do. You know you do. Oh, how do you know what I know? I can't tell you, but you could tell them. Tell us what? Well, I'll just leave you guys to chat amongst yourselves. There are millions of things I could do. I, I could go upstairs and clean out my closet. There are so many shoes on the floor, it looks as though I'm having a party! <laughs> Kate, don't pull any punches. Is my mother going insane? <laughs> she wants us to throw her a surprise birthday party. How do you know? Well, she told me. Well, how are we supposed to surprise her if she asked for it? Ah, you're thinking logically, Emma. Worth a try? Okay, here we go. Operation Blindsider, plan one. doing some shopping? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. What'd you get? Well, I got a shower cap. I got some shoe trees. I got some double stick tape. You were out shopping for my party, weren't you? No. <laughs> you were out buying hats and noisemakers, maybe a banner with my name written on it, weren't you? No, I was getting a shower cap and shoe trees. Why didn't you just pretend that you didn't see me anyway? Oh, I couldn't help myself. I was so touched by you going to all this trouble just for me. Well, it didn't do any good, did it? Now there's no surprise. Oh, yes, there is. I will forget I ever saw you. No, just drop the whole thing. It's obviously not gonna work out. Sorry, Kate. Could have been a little quieter about hiding things. <laughs> Now, I just have to contact our client, get her approval. I'm sure you'll be terrific, and I'll, I'll keep in touch. Okay, goodbye. He just fell up the stairs. Do you think he's going to walk down the street like that? Who's going to notice him in this neighborhood? Good point. Okay, so, who wants to call the queen of the Amazons? I think you should, because you've obviously established a rapport with her. Howard. Yes, Mrs. Simpson, please. Allie Lowell. They're going to knock on her mud hut. <laughs> Mrs. Simpson. Yes, I think we found somebody you'll like. It's a very funny clown. He juggles, he does acrobatics. He's a... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Bye. Three guesses. What could she possibly have against clowns? She finds them Ray Chauffe. Oh, well, who could blame her? Got any suggestions? No, never mind. I'll take care of it. You've got enough on your mind. Like what? You know. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I get it. Your lips are sealed. My lips are chapped. <laughs> I won't say a word. Help me set the table for dinner. Some guy's waiting at the corner in a clown outfit for the bus. He's auditioning for the party we're catering on Saturday. Oh, my